Welcome to week two of our color wheel umbrella picture. This week you are going to start by making sure that your umbrella has the correct colors for all your points. You need to make sure that you're using the colors that are on the natural color wheel. Starting out with red. As long as they're in the right position, doesn't matter what you start with. After red, we're going to add orange. Orange goes between red and yellow because it is what you get when you mix red and yellow together. That is why it's in that spot. If you added any raindrops on top of your umbrella, then you need to look carefully around this. If you don't have a paint set, too thick, it should be translucent or see-through. After yellow is going to be green. Green is between blue and yellow on the color wheel. So that remember that yellow and blue make green. If you don't have all of the colors, you can mix blue and yellow to get green. We're going to be doing a little mixing on one of our paint set that I'm using. Demo does not have a purple, so I'm going to be mixing the purple. Somebody asked me, well, what do I do to make yellow? Yellow, yellow is a primary color, so you cannot mix it. You just have to go out and buy more. There's no way of make, making it. You can make orange, you can make green, and you can make purple. So this one's blue. A primary color, so we use that to mix with the yellow on the other side to make that green to the end of the middle. And our last color is purple. So purple is going to be mixed by blue and red. Pink is a form of red, so if you want to mix the pink and the blue to make a lighter purple, that's okay. But blue and red. side of my paint set so I don't mess up my paints. Make sure you start out with a clean brush each time you add more color. Otherwise you'll get that other color in there. You can always clean it out. Use a clean brush and work it out a little bit. Okay, and our last color is purple. Now this is a deeper purple when you mix true red and true blue together. You're going to have a dark, deep purple, and when you make it lighter, so if you like a lighter purple, you would just have to add some white to it. So if you want it lighter, don't put too much paint on the brush, and that will give you a lighter color of purple for your umbrella. I'm not going to go through the steps on painting the rest of it. Um, I will upload a picture of a completed work that I did. So that you can kind of get an idea of what to do but the rest of it is up to you how you want to paint it have fun